Hey guys, so I figured in uh, this video I'd show you guys how to basically do everything there is to do with sheep. Um, might be a long one, it really depends on how lucky we get in finding uh, a wild sheep and how big we build our pen. Um, we'll start out with a small pen. That should take the majority of the work down. I already uh, got a lot of materials for the pen. So we'll just uh, go look at that in one sec. Could I get some stuff done while I was talking? All right. So we already got some stuff for the pen ready. And I'm going to show you the stages it takes to make things into fence kits for the pen. Now, you can build your pen out of adobe, um, or you can build them out of fence sticks, or fence kits. Um, both have benefits, uh, both have drawbacks. The benefits of using a fence kit is it's cheap. The drawback is someone can pick up the fence kit or pick up a piece of the fence kit and let your sheep out. So it can be griefed fairly easy. Um, the drawbacks of Adobe is it's expensive. Um, other than that, the benefits are it's very hard to grief. Someone's going to have to open both doors to grief you. And I'll show you what I mean by both doors. So these are the stages to make fence kit. You start with a straight branch. You use a sharp stone on it. That gets you a long straight shaft. Then you're going to add another long straight shaft to get two shafts, and then you use your adds on it to get a fence kit, like so. We're going to go through, make some more fence kits. Now that we have all these turned into fence kits, I've got my wall staked out. Um, I want my doorway to be like southern to northern, so it's easy to see where the door is and walk through it. Um, but pretty much lay down your stakes into wall stakes. Oh yeah, we need our shovel. That's what it is. It's been so long since I built these. I always build them out of Adobe. Um, purely because I don't like people being able to grief them. So I guess you dig your wall, then you dig. So we go like this. And then we place our fence sticks. Easy enough, right? I'm going to dig this one up. Nope. We're going to dig this one up. We'll just make this our doorway. And we're starving. Let's go grab some food. I'm trying to save the last two pies for when we go and hunt for um for cheap. So there is somebody else on the server, so they might spawn in on us at some point. Um not sure if I'm going to take them or not. Uh we'll just have to wait and see. I can't remember if you can actually do corner fences. Yeah, you can. Cool. All right, that makes things significantly easier. But this is what I meant by they can grief you. Like, let's say they wanted, uh, they wanted your fence out. Like, it can be griefed fairly easily by grabbing it. I thought you could dig it up, but yeah, there it goes. So it can be griefed extremely easily. <laughs> Making this a small pen. I'm gonna speed up this, so because this is just regular old building. Figured I'd cut back in here. Um, it's basically done. Uh, I'm just adding the final touches, the doors. Um, the reason why you want doors is because you're going to need an airlock type system. That way your sheep can't escape when you go in and out to feed them or whatever else you're going to do. So 
going to place my doors and then I'm going to get everything else prepped for when um, for when we have a sheep. And what I mean by that is, uh, first, we're going to keep our doors open. Um, so we're going to have to go and basically lasso a sheep to bring him back. Um, there's two ways that you can catch a sheep. There's the hard way, in my opinion, and the easy way. And we're going to take the easy way out, which is we're going to take a rope. And we're going to take a bow and arrow. And we're going to go and we're going to shoot the male sheep with the, the, the baby. And then the baby should stick around and we should be able to lasso it and take it back to our, um, our area. And what we need right now is we're going to need food to give to the sheep. So that's what we're getting right now. What we need is a uh, bowl of mashed berries and carrot, I believe. I'm trying to remember exactly. It's been a while since I've done sheep. Uh, case in point being, they're not extremely useful right now. I'm trying to remember where I put my... There it is. Um, the reason why you want this is you want to be able to feed them immediately once you get them um, into your pen. If you don't, they die pretty fast. Like, you don't have enough time, honestly, to go and get it all ready to go. All right. I'm going to leave our backpack. Actually, I think there's some there's some sheep that are close by, so... Hopefully we'll just get lucky. Boom. And we're sheep hunting. I might speed it up, might not. Depending on if we find one that has, like, see, that one won't work. That one does not have a calf. There we go. There's one with a calf. And we shot it. And it's behind the tree, so you guys can't see, but... Should be there we go. Now we got the baby. So the baby stays with the uh thing. Now it won't die as long as we have it on our little lasso. So I suppose you could have a friend get all the stuff you need before you release it inside your pen. So we're gonna go in here. I think yeah, see, you can't close doors while you're holding this. So you release. You need to set this down and close it. And then we have to feed him. So now that he's fed, it'll say fed mouflon lamb. Before it would say like starvishing or starving or uh, I remember the other word for it. They say languishing, I think. So now it says fed mouflon lamb. So you want to always keep one of these doors shut. Now he will basically grow into a ram. That then we have to feed again to get a sheep because um, we don't know if it's male or female I don't know why you're in my base go away um, all right so let's go grab some more berries I was pretty fast I wasn't expecting to find one that quick but I'm glad I did less cuts But yeah, the other way is you literally just have to stand at the edge of these, uh, like, let's say this stump would be the mother and calf. And when it moves left to right or whenever it moves from place to place, you have to run up and lasso it when it's more than one tile away from its mother. It's a pain in the butt. carry this rock around with us yep see now we have a grown one now, he's not useful for much um see they like to run into wherever you're working so that's the reason why it's always good to have a uh, an airlock but we need to wait until he starts having a baby of his own 
I set this here. I can see if I can do the other method really fast. Um, take this. All you need for that one is just a rope. Oh, well, one sec. Got a baby. Now you'll see it says domestic lamb. Um, it will change to like basically a dying one at some point. You'll we'll see one later in the game, but now if you feed it, it should turn into a sheep. And we're actually going to kill off our adult because we don't need. I know there was more than just that one. Oh. More berries. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see if we can do this method. So you have to keep them at the edge. Yeah, it's, it's really annoying. And it vanished. Hmm. Weird. And I probably lost my bowl because I don't know where I was running. Um, let's see. Damn. Oh, there it is. There we go. Now we have a sheep. I definitely lost my uh, bow and arrow. I have no idea where that thing went. I think I just ate the berries on accident. Flicking in this game. Like the controls, like once you get used to them, are better, but they're all around very hard to do. Now. Come on. There we go. You only really need one sheep. Like, we could kill him off. We don't need him. Um, the sheep will also spawn babies. Um, but if you click on domestic sheep, it'll say domestic sheep plus carrot row equals sheep eating carrot row. So if they get loose, they will eat your crops. Knife plus domestic sheep equals dead sheep. And shears plus domestic sheep equals shorn domestic sheep. So... I'm going to link in here how to make shears. I think that little baby lamb. Yeah, see, there we go. That's what they look like when they're about to die. Now they'll die and then they'll despawn um, over and over again, like, unfortunately. So we need two things to, when working with sheep wool. You need the shears, which we have right here. And I'll show you how to make them in a video in like two seconds. So for the purpose of this video, uh, I realize I forgot to show you guys how to make um, shears. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, I'm going to start out by starting a fire, just like we would when we normally do anything with smithing. Add some firewood. Gonna get some extra charcoal. I think we already have some charcoal still here, which is good. I'm gonna need two bars. We'll make as many bars as we can, but we only need two. Get a rock. There we go. All right. Like this. Bombs are way over here. There we go. All right, looks like we got them all into bars. That's good. 
go ahead and make our crucibles. Make these into steel. I'll probably also need to make a uh, another hammer as well. I think I left it up at the other base that doesn't have any forges. All right, seal up our crucibles. It's all easy enough. Take off my hat for no reason. We should be ready to go. Where's our tongs at? There they are. Go ahead and make this into steel. Might have enough time to uh, make a hammer. Let's see. Come on. Yep, there we go. Got our hammer head. That's a stick. Got our hammer. A little bit of pie. Go ahead and fill this up. Now all we need for shears is two blades. So we're gonna have to make two blade blanks first. This should be all we need right there. Now all we're gonna do is light it, we're gonna heat it up, and we're gonna bang them out until we get uh, blade blanks. Then on, it doesn't matter if they're hot or not. So, light it up, grab it, looking for blade blank, there it is, grab this other one really fast, looking for blade blank, there we go, we got two hot steel blade blanks, they'll cool off, Take a second, wait for them to cool. Now all we have to do is we take our steel file that we made in our earlier video, <laughs> and sharpen it to a steel blade, sharpen the other one to a steel blade. And now if you look, we can cycle through, and it should say steel blade plus steel blade equals two steel blade. There we go. Now when you add them together, two steel blade plus our smithing hammer right here makes shears. There we go, so we have our shears. And another thing you will need is the spindle. And you make a spindle by a wooden wheel and a short shaft. And that's how you have your spindle. Now we're gonna, if I can, there we go. Lay all this stuff down. We're gonna backpack our shears. We're gonna try and walk in. There we go. We're gonna walk in. We're gonna take out our shears. We're gonna shear our sheep. Now we're gonna take our wool. And this is where things like are kind of annoying. This is the reason why you need a a uh one of these. So what you have to do is you have to actually pick it up and these people like when these things are here they are tile blockers like you can't place stuff where they are. So when you add in all these little dead sheep it makes it really really hard not like it doesn't matter if the little ones get out. So we can let the little ones out it doesn't matter at all. I need to go grab some food. But it makes it really hard to shear and get out. Um, so you can get stuck because you can't open doors when you're holding stuff in your hands. See? And so you have to lay it down. Now we're going to take our fleece and we're going to use the drop spindle on it to make a small ball of yarn. Now, if we had another ball of yarn, which I'm going to see if we can get before we die. Um, 
We just need some berries. Let me, uh, take out my shears. Feed them. Now, to get your sheep to regrow wool, all you have to do is feed it again. Like, with the same... I let my, uh... Let my, uh... Seed row disappear. Super big deal. We shouldn't be here for that much longer. All right, let's see. Need some berries. Full berry bush. There's one. Now we have to go grind it up with a carrot again. So a bowl of bash, mashed berries and carrot. One of these carrots, might as well. Mash it up. Now we have to re... We have to feed our sheared sheep in order to uh in order for him to grow hair again. That shit said fed. Yep. So now it's fed. I wish these things either stopped giving birth. They stop giving birth when they are sheared. So if they are sheared, they they stop giving birth. But if they are not. Let's see if we can get rid of our domestic mouflon. Come on. Yeah, see? They grow hair back pretty fast. There we go. Let's see if we can get rid of them. Go. Go away. Shoo. Out. Good. I don't believe those eat our carrot rows. I haven't really tested it, but... I forgot to make knitting needles, but it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Once you have the ball of yarn, you can knit. Let's see. Uh, shears. Back in here. Shear you in there. Come on. Back inside. One. Go back inside. There we go. Take this, use our spindle on it. Now you can take your ball of wool and combine it with another ball of wool to make a big ball of wool. Or ball of yarn. I remember small ball of yarn plus big ball of yarn. Then you can also combine it to make a huge ball of yarn. Now all we need to do is make knitting needles. All you need is two skewers. So let's go back up here to this grass biome really quick. Let's see if we can find skewers. Need two saplings. That's all we need. There's one. And here's another one. All right, so we combine the two saplings and we get knitting needles. Now, the benefit that wool has over rabbit skin is just the fact that you do not need string. It is something that does not require a crap load of, uh, of uh, milkweed. Like, doesn't require any. Like, all you have to do is, depending on what ball of yarn you have, is what you're going to get. So a small ball uses, uh, makes you uh, booties, a big ball makes you um, a wool hat, and a huge ball, I believe, makes you um, a jacket. So yeah, you just take your knitting needles, and use it on your yarn, and that gives you your different article of clothing. Um, the only thing that you have to have, I guess, in bulk would be uh, just a, a lot of extra... <laughs> Berry bushes and compost. 
Or if you're using wildberry bushes, that'd be even easier. Because you're constantly going to be having to refeed these guys to reshear them. Now it's just him in there, and as long as we don't feed him, he shouldn't pop out any more babies. Um, so it'll keep the tiles empty. So best thing you can do is not feed them until you're ready to shear them. So that's pretty much it for sheep. Well, that was a short chat, but, uh, yeah, um, I guess somebody else has been using the stuff that I've left here, but, uh, that was it for sheep, um, not much to it, uh, you shear, you get a small ball of yarn when you use it on just one, then you combine it, you get a big ball, um, or a large ball, and then huge ball after that, um, that's basically it for sheep guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh like and subscribe if you want more content have a good one